Hello and welcome. It's Ed here with another tip to show you some brand new software, oversimplified FTP software to be precise. So if you dread or avoid FTP, cPanel or buying scripted products just because they require FTP to put things on your web hosting account, this is going to be of great interest to you. Let's have a look at how it works. Now let's walk through the process of uploading a file using OSFTP. First thing we want to do is select what we want to do. Our options are for files, upload, download, rename, change file permissions, or delete the file. For folders, it's the same set of options, so it's the exact same process for the most part. These are basically the only FTP functions people ever use and mostly it's simply upload file. Very few people actually ever have the need to download files. Even fewer than that ever have the need to rename files. Very rarely will you have to change file permissions and it's usually not necessarily to necessary to delete files. But all of these things depending on the script may be required but again it's only five things max. So let's go ahead and tell the software that we want to upload a file. Now we're going to tell it to do the selected FTP action to do this. You see that it shows us that it's running. Now since I told it I wanted to upload a file it opened up my little viewer so that I could select a file to upload. So let's upload this image. Now it's telling us to select a folder to work in and what this means is we're going to select a folder that's on our server. So it's showing me the folder that's on my server from the root domain. In my server setup everything is in public HTML. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to tell it OK. Now it's asking me do I want to work inside this folder or do I want to navigate even deeper? Well, in my case, I'm going to upload that image to a folder on my server called test. Okay? And the test folder is inside the HTML directory. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it that I want to navigate deeper. So again, it's asking me where do I want to work at this point. So now it's showing me the files inside of the public HTML. So I'm going to tell it I want to work in my test folder and say OK. And it asks me again, do we want to work inside this directory or do we want to go deeper? Well, in this case, this is the directory that I want to work in. So I'm going to tell it to upload the file into this folder. It uploaded it, then it went and checked at my server and found that it was uploaded and it lets me know that my upload was successful. The process has been completed. You can do this exact same thing if you're uploading an entire folder. You select that you want to upload the folder, tell it what folder that you want to upload, and let's tell it where we want to upload it. So again, my main server contents is in public HTML, so I know I want to go in there. And I want to, in my case, I want to navigate deeper because I want to put this new folder into my test folder. Now that I have my test folder directory loaded, I'm going to tell it, yes, this is where I want to upload this folder. And it was uploaded successfully. Again, when it uploads a file for you, whether it's a file or a folder, it'll go back after it's uploaded and check just to verify that it's on your server for you and give you this message. Okay, well that was really good, wasn't it? Thank you, Cliff, for showing us how that works with the upload. If you'd like to see the download and other functions of this uh, brilliant bit of software, just click the link below and you'll be able to see more videos on how you can control changing file permissions, deleting files, renaming files, and so on. Thank you once again for taking the time to listen to this short video, and if you like to share it among your friends I'd be very happy for you to click the links below and we'll see you in another video. Bye now.